This was not about a slapstick lawsuit. I know that's what everybody says, right? It's frivolous. It's not frivolous. When someone implies that you can be in trouble from the SEC, that is not frivolous, guys. That's a very, very, very serious, serious matter. This is where Carlos lives, guys. I am live streaming from Carlos's house. Carlos has my Lamborghini right here in his, in his garage. Hello everyone, and today we are once again talking about BitBoy Crypto. Or at least he was formerly known as BitBoy Crypto. Because now he has to go by, I think, Ben Crypto or something like that. His name is Ben. And his brand has now been taken over. He was kicked out of his own creation. Now, as you've seen in the intro, that's where it sort of leads from there. But not to get ahead of myself. To sort of recap on why we talked about Ben before, that was because he tried to sue a Tozy for what I would like to call emotional damage. Emotional damage! You know, it's funny, I uh, got into it with this, uh, this dork on Twitter, uh, talking about, uh, I've been setting my audience up because I've been saying so much bull- oh. What the- What kind of idiot are you? How stupid are you? Have you- the people that attack this channel that have never spent one minute watching it, you are the me. You are the internet social media cliche. It is not me, good good friend. It is you. And so, it, it's so ridiculous. Listen to the message we've been- Now that was a clip from my last video. And I went on to say, with my terrible audio, defendant's conduct was directed towards Armstrong and has caused Armstrong severe emotional distress. As a result of defendant's outrageous statements, Armstrong now suffers from severe anxiety that he will be perceived as a felon, fraud, and untrustworthy in business and or in general. Armstrong now has recurring bouts of depression about whether defendant's defamatory statements will harm Armstrong financially and socially and whether he will be able to recover his reputation and business as a result. Contemplating the loss of his livelihood and his good standing in society has left Armstrong in a fragile, emotional state with virtually no confidence that things will be better in the future. All because Atozi made a video basically calling him out for a couple of pump and dump crypto schemes. Yeah, he tried to destroy Atozi, but let's see. What did BitBoy say about Atozi after the lawsuit started? One year ago, this man sued me federally because he didn't like that I called him out for scamming his audience. It was a textbook slap lawsuit. Then he laughed at me when I tried to raise funds to fight his BS lawsuit. And 16 year olds are in full force today. Good thing their attention spans are 4.2 seconds. I'm sure they can all borrow a $10 mom from their mom's purse to help you out, bud. When will folks figure out everything you try to do to hurt me only helps me? This has to be so frustrating. I just keep winning and the wins are only about to get bigger. Well, that energy was wasn't in the lawsuit. You will have to find other ways to chase clout. LMAO, I will not allow it. You can't literally make up lies and accusations about people. There are consequences for this because you tell two truths in one line. That doesn't excuse the lie. Hate me all you want, but at the end of the day, people will be held accountable for their lies and slander, period. Yeah, BitBoy Crypto had some kind of energy going on, which now seems kind of funny, considering what we're going to go over today, especially because, um, well, you'll see. He throws out some crazy accusations later on. He simply cannot be trusted with financial advice because you don't know if he's trying to enrich you or himself. Here's a prime example of that. So he made a video a while back on a token or a cryptocurrency where the price could only go up. What if I told you there's a project guaranteed to increase in price? I know you would probably want to jump in, but I'm sure the first thought you would have would be, wait a second, that doesn't sound right. Well, if you missed out on Tezos or Chainlink, you don't want to miss Pump, if I mean PAMP. I'm pumped up to talk about this one. What was that, big boy? A project that's guaranteed to go up in price? Let's see where this project is today. Wow, would you look at that? Oh yeah, it's pretty obvious what it was, but he was very offended that he got called out for this, you know, severe emotional distress for his own actions. Yeah, and I don't believe he's actually under any distress considering the tweets he made about a Tozy and his 16 year old fans. Now this is what he had to say after the video went live of a Tozy's on 
some kind of podcast type deal. We, we are the most transparent channel. If people rake us over the coals for things, we do what we say that we do. And you're over here saying that I shill coins and, and that yesterday you were saying like, we just go and we say, uh, you know, go buy this and we sell bags. Never in the history of this channel have I done that. Not one time, not one single time have I ever done that. If you missed out on Tezos or Chainlink, you don't want to miss Pump. I mean, PAMP. So yeah, pretty much that's all the proof you really need. Uh, Ferrarian slip, I believe that's called. But Atozi goes on to explain exactly what happened after the lawsuit was initiated. So that was to then send multiple people to my house and give me multiple cease and desist. How are you doing today? Good. Are you early? Full name? Yeah. Who are you delivering for? This lady just got some stuff for you. Oh, what is it? I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a box. I don't need it. Well, you've been served early. What are you doing? And mind you, he was served within hours or days of his firstborn child, you know, about to be born. So this is a very stressful situation for Tozi, but thankfully, his community and people around him came in clutch and was able to give him plenty of money for this lawsuit for he could fight it. Then Kobe blessed me infinitely by donating $100,000, and I received roughly another $100,000 from you guys. And suddenly, his energy completely switched up because now he was worried this is actually gonna go to court. We did not want this to become public. Uh, I guess when I decided to do this back in November, uh, I wanted to keep this behind closed doors. I've had another lawsuit. It was behind closed doors, and it worked out great. Obviously, if this would have been public, I wouldn't have done it. it not because I, I want to hide it, but all we were trying to do was get him to take down the video that had factually wrong information that has implications for me as a person. Where we're at is, at this point, it has become public. It's become uh, an absolute debacle. We know Kobe gave him $100,000, so uh, you know, hopefully that money will go to good use. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to drop the lawsuit 100%. So at this point, like I said, there, there is nothing really we can do. Um, you know, <clears throat> the, the money has came in on his side. Uh, the lawsuit was never about money. So yeah, he went on a long rambly rant saying yeah, he's gonna drop this lawsuit because Atozi came into some money and the lawsuit wasn't something he could keep behind the scenes. Now, if he genuinely thought Atozi did something wrong and he could win, there is no way he would have dropped this lawsuit. But he wanted to try to strong arm him behind closed doors and that didn't work like it probably has many times in the past. Created, and he claims that they've taken all of his money. So he then logged into the BenCoin cryptocurrency Twitter account of his and said this. TJ Shedd and Justin Williams have attempted a coup of my company. Just confirming what's going around, it's true. There's been a mutiny at BitBoy Crypto and Hit Network, but it won't work. They have no leverage until they can clone me. I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> he then makes this video where he says this. And so today, uh, as I, you know, put 20 bucks in my gas tank earlier that I had to borrow from someone because I've been 100% cut off from all my money, all my money, uh, uh, my wife's American Express card, well, that wasn't paid for the last month. Uh, that wasn't paid. It was supposed to be getting paid by people that work for me, and they didn't do it. So the credit card's maxed out. And guys, we're in a tough spot here because they're trying to make me stop fighting. And I humbly ask that you donate. Uh, we have ERC20 address, Ethereum or stablecoins. Stablecoins would be best, but it, whatever you want to donate is fine. Uh, stablecoins, like I said, are, are the easiest right now. So we're trying to fund the legal fund. Um, they took the Lamborghini, so I couldn't sell it, <laughs> like obviously. Um, and I'm in a bad spot right here, guys. Now that video goes to show that he had something to worry about. Um, he was pretty high up on his high horse until the company overthrew him even though he was the face and name of the company. They are now called Discover Crypto instead of BitBoy Crypto. And they apparently took everything from him, including his Lamborghini, which is a huge loss for him. Because <laughs> he did like to flex his money, his Lamborghinis, he, his Gucci tracksuits, and, you know, bully other people. So in a way, this is like karma coming around. You do not understand how unhinged this really is. Ben Armstrong just showed up to an ex-employee's house who he accuses of stealing his Lambo. He decides to bring a 
and the woman he's cheating on with his wife with then also decided to live stream on YouTube with the title live streaming from Carlos's house where my Lamborghini is but no one's talking about the craziest part Ben scheduled the live stream ahead of time meaning Carlos saw this coming miles away and surprise surprise called the police who immediately arrested Ben so it was definitely safe to say when I said whatever was going to happen was going to be a dumpster fire was a massive understatement in Carlos's house this is where Carlos lives guys I am live streaming from Carlos's house. Carlos has my Lamborghini right here in his in his garage. <laughs> I am in disbelief. This is not real. How is this happening? How did we get here within the span of just one year? Let the courts handle this. Why are you in front of this man's house? I mean, he used to try to use the system to strong arm people into doing what he wanted, but now he can't use that because he has no money and no resources. So now I think he's sort of fallen off the deep end. And I can't tell you that Carlos, by the way, guys, hey, James, Carlos is telling people who take off and he's also telling people who the guy who will take off it's a lot of talking guys how is this relevant and that's for you guys he's got loose lips extremely loose lips he will say anything so it's a person standing outside his house <laughs> yep okay stop, stop. Hey, how's it going put your phone down okay put okay. the phone down is anybody else in the car um yeah there's nobody else. who's in the car uh no, who? what's that who's in your car Who's in my car? Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... Who's in your car? Who's in my car? Who's in your truck, sir? Cassie is in my car. Cassie's in my truck. All right, Cassie. Cassie's in my truck. My wife knows that we're here, by the way. She knows we came to do this. But my wife is aware. So we're live on YouTube right now. I am speechless. He shows up to his ex-coworker's house with a girl he was having an affair with to live stream an encounter with him, doxes his ex-coworker, and gets arrested. This is hands down the dumbest live stream I've ever seen in my life. Probably same, and I've seen some pretty dumb live streams like Johnny Somali, which he got arrested to. But I'm pretty sure um, Ben Bitboy knew this was coming because he did welcome the cops being called. I really don't see what he thought he was going to get out of this in the long term. Were the cops going to be on his side and take the Lamborghini? I don't really think so. The Lamborghini was in the company name, which means since he's kicked out of the company, he has no access to anything, which is why he was begging for money. Crazy when the shoe is on the other foot, isn't it? He was on a mission to just make his life infinitely harder. He probably succeeded with this live stream. But the arrest details say that Ben Armstrong, also known as BitBoy, has officially been locked away in jail, as confirmed by the local sheriff's office in Georgia. BitBoy live streamed an incident where he attempted to steal a Lamborghini from an ex-business partner with his mistress, who he cheated on his wife with, all while being armed and under the influence. Law enforcement authorities have also discovered illegal in his vehicle he did have a firearm in his truck the whole time there was a point in the live stream where a car passed by and he had to you know get ready in case his life was in danger but yeah and um he was arrested and he did do a couple things like knock on his ex co-workers door i go knock on the door and you know what he does he turns and he runs because he's a meow <laughs> Yeah, and I didn't make that edit. It's just a ridiculous situation, especially because he was with the woman he had an affair with. That's just so odd. He's turned his life upside down, and I, I do feel bad for his family, but all in all, he did kind of do this to himself. He's just been now, but still not the greatest guy. There is a long history of things like PAMP, so it's not just a one-off. There was dozens of different scams he's done, allegedly, but scams he's done that duped people out of thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars probably his whole career is stolen money so that lamborghini was taken off the backs of people he's duped but all in all i'd say um maybe people should stop trusting youtubers with their financial advice because um i'd say they're more enriching themselves as a was saying 
I hope that period of our lives is about over. With the fall of FTX and Celsius, I hope people understand not to trust all this stuff. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I'd like to thank my channel members. It means a lot to me that you are supporting the channel. And if you'd like to become a member, you can just hit the join button down below. And I will see you all next time.